Well, from weather hurdles to market volatility, crop insurance continues to be a big focus for farmers as we approach a new planting season. Brooks York with AgriSampo joins us now with some industry guidance. Brooks, always a pleasure. Happy Friday to you. Thank you for joining us this morning. So let's start with talking about recent sell-offs in most row crop markets. Futures lower than desired. So where do we stand in regard to corn, soybean, and cotton projected price averages today? And how does that compare to this time last year? Yeah, Suzanne, right now, you know, this has been a sobering sell-off, uh, especially in corn, soybeans, and wheat. And uh, we are in the middle of those projected price discovery periods for most of the country. Some of them ended on the 14th of February, but a lot of them go through February. Right now, for corn, uh, we're at 471. Now, that averaging period won't be done until the end of this month. But uh, kind of compared to last year at 591, a 20% decrease in price. So, uh, again, sobering is the word. On beans, we're at 1168, <clears throat> not quite the percentage drop we saw from last year. Last year's uh, uh, discovery period for the projected price came out at 1376. So, uh, the bright spot is cotton. And for most of our cotton producing states, that pricing period is over, uh, was over on February 14th at 85 cents last year versus 85 cents this year. So uh, cotton maintained itself pretty well. It's kind of an anomaly amongst commodities right now. Now, I know earlier in the week, the Ag Outlook Conference, uh, we got our first formal glimpse at acreage estimates. So when will the crop insurance world get a really accurate picture of this exact uh, acreage insured across the country? When does that number come out? Yeah, big changes, you know, out of an Outlook Committee yesterday, um, 3 million lower on corn versus last year was the estimate, a big increase on beans. And uh, that's a wild card this year. It's going to be really important. For spring seeded crops, Suzanne, uh, those acres are reported on July 15th. So a little late in the game, just to, to keep in mind, that's a couple of weeks after the June 30 USDA acreage report. But we'll have a pretty good idea uh, when those acres get reported on July 15th. So, Brooks, as sales season comes to a close in the coming weeks, what would be the single most important question that you think farmers and agents should ask themselves when making decisions about policies and the insurance provider? You know, we're, we're tempted, I think, at this point in time as a producer um, to maybe look at decreasing coverage on crop insurance. It's not essential to growing a crop. But I'll argue with the big decline in price, uh, you know, we didn't quite have that big decline in expenses. Uh, and we are going to put a crop out for a little less than we did last year. But, you know, the big question is, is uh, can you grow a crop without crop insurance? Yes. Can you sustain a business without crop insurance? And that's the big question that's out there. And, uh, you know, we, we still have a lot of dollars invested per acre and uh, are you willing to risk, you know, what you've worked so hard to build is probably the question I would ask. Yeah, I think a lot of people know the answer to that one. Boy, a lot of money on the line. Brooks, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us this Friday morning. Agrisampo Producer Services Director Brooks York.